Today's video will be going over the Norsu syllabary in detail. The Norsu syllabary comprises of about 800 distinct characters, each one representing a syllable of the language. Every syllable has an initial consonant, a final vowel, and a tone. There are no final consonants, unlike in Chinese. The syllables can also be represented in yu pinyin, or as it's known in Norsu, Norsu huo fu bo. In a few places, there are no and there is no initial consonant to the syllable, but these glyphs are treated the same as the rest. The tones are represented by the final letter, which I'll discuss later. There are a few important rules for the formation of glyphs in the syllabary, and these are pretty important. When converting a mid-tone into a mid-rising tone, the character gains a small diacritic above it, and this is represented in new opinion if they are adding an X to the end of the syllable. The second rule is that for other tones of the same syllable, they are often represented with variations on the same glyph used for the mid-tone version, but this isn't very consistent. Take the syllable ba and the ga. While ba seems to be able to abide by the rule, the secondary syllables in ga seem more, syllable, uh, more similar to others such as nga, so, nga, nga. And there's one special character, which is written like this, and it's written as a W in by itself, in Yu Pinyin. It's used to represent the character that came before it, so you don't have to write it out twice, and is commonly known as the iteration one. It's pretty hard to learn all 800 glyphs at once, so I recommend just to learn them as you learn the vocabulary that goes alongside them. Luckily, most syllables will use either the mid-tone or the mid-rising tone, meaning that you can effectively learn two characters at the price of one once you learn the mid-tone version, because the mid-rising tone version only has the diacritic above it with the same original glyph. 